to finish the neck more cleanly we're gonna put in some mining what we're going to do is just join these ends with the good sides together press them open and top stitch them down as we've done with the sleeves and front and back okay we are finally going to attach our hood to the body just put this down flip it over so you get the back good sides together so like this so the back of your hoodie in the back of the hood and you just align it there and pin it. and then you just make your way around and pin the hood to the body to the neckline essentially it's easier to pin this way rather than this way okay once our hood is pinned in place it would be ready to attach if it wasn't for the neck binding flip it with the good side inside and where it's joined put that at the center back take out your pin from before and pin the hood the neck binding and the body all together this neck binding basically just a circular ribbon now we're gonna go all along here with our serger and our hood is touched if you found this to be tricky rest assured this is the hardest seam of the entire garment because there's just so many layers what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything is caught in the seam so you just sort of walk around the seam and what I do is at places that are particularly bulky like here at the front right that all looks good and here where the raglan sleeve sets in um, on the inside I tend to just for those few centimeters go over them with a straight stitch on a regular sewing machine um, because it's quite a lot for a serger to hold down if not um, with our hood attached we are going to finish the neck binding okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this down and then from the good side here we're gonna sew along this edge right not entirely on the corner you want to go past the seam allowance there and then sew there I'm going to pin that in place first to make sure that our neck binding uh, doesn't move because we'll be sewing from this side so we don't really see what's going on down here okay when we have the neck binding pinned in place we're going to sew it I find for me and I would reckon for most people you can actually sew this on a straight stitch it doesn't need to stretch because sits a bit further than the next seam and that's enough it will, it will pass over the head however do make sure to check try it on as it is now and if you feel like yeah that's that's i don't need to stretch this very much then you can just sew with a straight seam like one centimeter from the edge making sure to keep your um, neck binding nice and flat if you still feel like oh this needs to stretch do the same thing just use a zigzag stitch That's done. So, as you can see, this is where we sew down our neck binding. I even switched colors there, the thread. Our tricky neck seam is now enclosed. We have this extra neck binding, and we'll just cut that away. we can agree that this looks neat it is beautifully finished doesn't look like uh, some sort of hackish thing if we wouldn't have added the neck binding it would have been slightly easier but it would have, would have looked nowhere near as good so definitely worth the effort all that's left to do now is attach the ribbing 